It's how you want to do it. Oh. What's your name again? Ashley. 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 Ashley, right? So the officer asked you if he had a boyfriend, right? What was your answer? <laughs> no, right? You know that that's a good thing according to the Bible? You know that? Okay. Women are not supposed to have boyfriends and boyfriends and boys are not supposed to have girlfriends. Uh, are you aware of that? Read that for the sister. So according to the Bible, right, as in God has a law pertaining to marriage, right? So when the most high looks down at his people, he established how the house was supposed to be set up. You understand that? So there's supposed to be husbands and wives. Yeah. That's the reason like why he asked you the question, have you got a boyfriend, right? Because he wanted to find out if the Catholic Church had taught you that you're supposed to have marriage and not a boyfriend, all right? Yes, read that for the sister. Hebrews 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Stop, stop. So what that scripture just say right there? I can't hear you. Read it again for me. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable. So as a woman, is it to be honorable? Yeah, right, exactly. It's a good thing, right? It's something that's held in high esteem, right? And this is something that's held in high esteem in the most high eyes, right? Because who do you want to please? You want to please man or do you want to please the most high? Right, you want to please the most high, right? So you want to do what it is you're supposed to do according to the Bible, right? Yes, read that again for me. Marriage is honorable in all. Uh -huh. And the bed on the file. Right. So as what does that mean right there? So we went over the first part, right? So the first part said that marriage is honorable, right? So we both understand that, right? And it said, read it again. And the bed on the file. And the bed on the file. What does that mean? How old are you? You're 19 years old, right? You're on the verge of being a woman, according to the Bible. All right, so a person is an adult, according to the Bible, at the age of 20, right? So you're on the cusp of becoming an adult, and no one has taught you as in what you're supposed to do as a woman, right? Now, how long have you been as a part of the Catholic Church? My whole life. All right, your whole life. So have they ever sat down with the young women and taught them what it is to be righteous according to the Bible? How to set up your household according to the Bible? And you've been inside the Catholic Church your whole life, right? I'll read that again for you. Marriage is honorable in all, uh -huh. and the bed on the file. Uh -huh. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Right, so it says that the bed is on the file, right? You know what that means? So it means that if a man and woman are having sex and they're not married, it means that their marriage bed is defiled. You mean? You understand? Meaning it's unclean. Meaning that you're not keeping God's laws, and because it's unclean, there's going to be a punishment that's going to be coming thereafter. You understand that? So, how do you not have your bed to be undefiled? Huh? Don't have sex, but have marriage. Right, exactly. Don't have sex before marriage, but become married. That's how your bed is undefiled, because like I said, there's judgment for not keeping God's laws. You understand that? Ashley, you said, right? Yeah. Was there any more in there? No, sir. Read it again for the sister. Marriage is honorable in all, uh -huh. and the bed on the file. Uh -huh. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Right, so it said whoremongers and what? And adulterers? Whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. That's what we were just talking about, right? Meaning that if you're having sex, your bed is defiled, and there is judgment coming. That's according to God's law, you understand? That's what the Most High said. So it said that whoremongers like, will be judged, right? As what's a whoremonger? You have no idea. So a whoremonger is somebody who goes and has sex and they're not married. That's a whoremonger, you understand? So read it again for the system. 
marriage is honorable and all, uh -huh. and the bed on the file. Uh -huh. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Right, so whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge, right? So it says in the second part of the verse, adultery. What's an adultery? Now you said you were inside the Catholic Church all your whole life, like 19 years. You know that adultery is all throughout the Bible? We have the scriptures that teach you what adultery is. So you're saying that you were part of the Catholic Church all your life and you never learned what adultery is. It means people who are married and have sex with other people. That's adultery, all right? So as we did again for the system. Marriage is honorable and all, uh -huh. and the bed on the file. Uh -huh. But homongers and adulterers, God will judge. Right, so you don't want to be judged, right? So you're 19 years old, right? You're on the cusp of becoming right, a woman, right? So you know that you have to be married before you have sex, right? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.